it's your girl fairy queens here and welcome back to another video how are you guys doing today i hope you're doing amazing today i'm going to be ranking my favorite pets in wizard 101 based solely off of their looks I am going to be ranking them from least favorite to most favorite. There are so many cute pets in this game, so it's very hard for me to choose. Before we get into the video, please be sure to leave a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Here we go! So clearly, I really love all of these pets because this cute little thing is at the bottom of my list. This is a feathered tabby. I absolutely love the way that it flies and I think it's really cute. But the reason why it's at the bottom of my list is because it looks a little bit outdated. But it is super cute. I mean, seriously, how could you not like that? I don't remember when this pet was made, but just looking at the graphics, it's like really kind of crusty looking so i think if they were to update it a lot more people would be in love with it on to the next one the next one is cosmo i really 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 love cosmo too but he also kind of looks outdated i don't know maybe it's just a me thing but he looks outdated to me but obviously i love animals and i also love that he has that little like what is it, like a barrel? I love that little barrel across his chest. I think he's just so cute. It's also a really funny change from the feathered tabby to this dog because he's just so much bigger than the little tabby. I mean, look at that size comparison! I'm just gonna leave them up there for now. They can stay here and enjoy the little Christmas tree. <laughs> so the next pet that I'm showing you is the Rock and Roller. This pet is really cute because whenever you run, it actually rolls up into a little ball. And I just think it's so cute. It's kind of further down on my list though because it's not very colorful, I guess. But I do think that there's different versions of this pet. It also kind of has an ugly tail, but it's still cute. The next one on my list is this pea stub. She actually glows, and I just think that she is so beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I think she's so pretty. She's holding like a little piece of... I don't really know what it is, like a little piece of grass or something in her mouth, but I think she's really pretty. This is how she flies. You can really see the glowiness with her. She's so majestic. You see how the glowiness is just kind of like pulsating? It's so beautiful. I wish that they did that to more pets. Okay, on to the next one. This next one is the Maple Moose. I think it's so cute. It kind of reminds me of Troy now that I'm looking at it. Oh my gosh, it literally looks like Troy. If Troy were a pet, he would be this one. He literally has the hair, the eyebrows, and the eyes. That is so funny. But that's not why I picked him. I picked him because I think that he's very cute. He just has a cute little face. And I also like that you can dye his little scarf. It keeps him warm. On to the next one. This next one is the ladybug. Now, I do not have the Valentine's Day ladybug, but if I did, it would definitely be replacing this one because the Valentine's ladybug is pink, and you know how much I love pink. I love her eyelashes. I think she's really cute. Oh, look at her smile. I'm also really attracted to, like, larger pets, so I like that they made the ladybug so big. I think it would have been cute, kind of, if they made her tiny, but, like, I like the bigger pets because I like being able to see the detail, whereas if you have tiny pets, you can't really see it all that well. But it would have been cute if they made her, like, a really tiny ladybug, but I like this one. I like them both, I guess. The eyelashes are what places her so high up on this chart. Okay, on to the next one. This is the little bumblebee. I'm kind of afraid of bees in real life just because I've been stung by one before and it does not feel good, but I think that this is so cute and it's so fat. It also looks really fuzzy, like I just want to pet it. The wings are so tiny and I have to work so quickly to hold the body up, but that's what makes it cute. This next one is the dragonfly pet. This is actually a rare pet as you have to breed a bumblebee and a dragon. I can't remember what dragon it is, but this is a very rare hybrid. I love the big eyes. I actually used this pet so much on Alora, but I'm kind of sick of it at this point. But nonetheless, it's very rare. I really like this pet. And I think that's what made me place it above the bumblebee. I'm 
pretty sure the only way you can get this is by hatching a bumblebee with that dragon pet. But I might be wrong. You might actually be able to hatch it out, but I don't think so. I just think it's so cute. Look how it's upside down. <laughs> this next pet is the proper penguin. Look, he's like kind of hiding behind me. Oh, he's just so cute. I love this pet so much. You can actually dye the little bow tie and the hat to make it whatever color you want to. This is one of the cutest pets in the game. Look how he runs. You can't tell me that's not one of the cutest things you've ever seen in your life. Cause I know for me, that's freaking adorable. The next one on my list is Stella. Now I absolutely love this pet. There is nothing negative I have to say about this one. I worked for such a long time to get her and I really, really, really loved my little pony whenever I was younger. So that's kind of what she reminded me of. To this day, I still think this is one of the best pets in game. Look how she flies and just gallops in the air. And I think she also has eyeshadow on. She does and she has eyelashes on. She's just so beautiful. My little pony. My little pony, uh... Oh my god, she just sang! The next one that I have on my list is the Lumi! This little Lumi is just so cute. I absolutely love the face on it. And look how it's like, whenever it moves, it's... Oh, it's just so cute! Whenever it moves, the little petals on it, like, move with it. And I just think it's so cute. I love it because its body is so tiny. And its face is like... Ooh, woo. <laughs> like, it's just such a cute pet. I heard that King's Isle was actually making a mobile game and these were the characters in it, but they didn't end up following through with it. So they implemented them into Wiz and I am so thankful for that. Okay, now we are down to our final two pets. If you've made it this far into the video, for one, I just want to say thank you for helping with the algorithm and two, leave a comment down below saying, I bet you worked hard on your pet. I bet you worked hard on your pet. I'll pin a random user's comment with that message. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get into the final two. My second most favorite is this snowflake. How could you not like that face? Oh my god, it's just so cute. This is a newer pet, if you can't already tell by the graphics. They are just so amazing. And my favorite thing about this pet is whenever you run, it leaves a trail of snowflakes behind you. Isn't that so cool? And they're sparkly too. This is a beautiful pet. I actually got this pet to Mega, so if you want to go check that video out on my channel, the link will be down below. I love everything about it. I have nothing negative to say. The only thing that I would change is make it pink, but obviously snowflakes aren't pink, so that doesn't really make sense. So that is Baby Harley, and now we are moving on to the top and final pet that you all have been waiting for. I don't think anyone was going to guess this one because I didn't even really know it was my favorite until just a little bit ago. I almost want to transfer stats from one of my pets onto this one because it is just so freaking cute. Drum roll, please. Say hello to baby Sassy. Oh my god. God, this is the cutest pet in game, no doubt. She is so cute. She's holding fruit in her basket and she's just so cute. She's got a little backpack on and that smile. Oh my gosh, that smile. And she gets really fat and she like can't move. Oh, I just think she's so cute. Look at her swimming. She's just so happy. Even though she's carrying a bunch of weight on her, she just doesn't really care. She's just happy to be alive. This is her dancing. She like blows out her belly. She's just so cute. The way that the eyes are animated on this character makes me love it even more. She looks like she has so much life to her. So that is all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know that I did. I love rating things in Wizard 101, especially pets because they are so cute. Leave a comment down below ranking your top five favorite pets. I would love to read them all. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Bye!